Hello guys, this is Kul here and today I am going to show you how to make a very good thumbnail today. So, uh, today we are going to be using Jim. It's a tool, it's not that uh, beginner friendly and it's not that good but it's uh, good for beginners like who don't know at Photoshop or something. People like me, like small YouTubers, it's free. Uh, and of course you can only do it on laptop. So, this... Uh, in this program you click click uh, new and then it will give you this thing so if you want nice uh, quality like uh, if you want a normal uh, default this thing uh, thumbnail you just you, you can just uh, click ok here but i want a higher quality image so i just click 2048 by 1152 now it will generate uh, a picture for us okay now let me just uh, make it white okay now i want if you like you can take a screenshot of any game or um, of, of the contents of the video all you need to do is drag the picture into here if you do uh, do notice something you can't make the image bigger you can't scale the image so for that you go to tools here or just right right click here transform tools and here you can see everything crop move rotate scale those are the things you mo uh, mostly need for now i am going to scale up the image and click scale and there nice now, if you think this uh, the uh, the it is looking a bit dull, then you can go to color and edit all the things here, like saturation, brightness, and stuff like that. It looks way better right now. There are many options here. You can uh, do anything you want. Okay, so you learned how to do this thing. Now you may be wondering, um, how do I do text? Easy. Um, you just click the text tool and type in something. You can select any uh, any uh, font you like here, and you can do any type anything. For example. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it in front of Jupiter. Alright, now I need to make it bigger so I just uh, select tools, transfer tools as before and then scale again. we just put in scale right click again tools and if you want to move you just take this and move this over somewhere and just put it on top now that looks like a real thumbnail but this there's a problem like uh, I used to make the th my thumbnails in PowerPoint I will show you right now there like these thumbnails are okay but if you look closely like uh, I used to copy uh, copy the thing I want to outline the white thing with and then just simply uh, grow it behind it and so it looks like a, a bit weird these ones are wonderful I made I don't know how I made this but you can make this in like two minutes if you know how to do it the, this 3d effect now I will show you how to do, uh, do stuff like that Okay, and for now I'll just do it on the text, but you can do it anywhere you want. To do uh, like white color here in the select menu, and then just click the white thing or whatever you want is to outline, and then just select uh, edit, and then stroke selection, and there you can select how what is the size of uh, the outline that you want. So you just do it and before that you need to set the color you want to this thing so you set the color you want to uh, 
outline it by with the at the top you click stroke and then there you go if you want to like remove the selection you can't just click off like you need to click this done and i think that is a bit too thick so actually if you press ctrl plus z you can undo what you just did so you do like once again you can do and make the thing smaller way better now you select none and then it, uh, if you zoom in into here you can just uh, scroll to zoom you can only do this you see this outline that is how you can do it you can also do it on images if you want it's very easy to do and it is much easier than the powerpoint thing that i used to do so thank you guys for watching and by the way um, i forgot to tell you thank you for 192 subscribers we are all on the road to 200 subscribers only eight more needed and uh, if you could may, uh, make your subscriptions uh, public then you can uh, i will check the 200 subscriber and shout at them in the my next video which is going to be a peppa pig uh, video so stay tuned goodbye